The U.S. Army has about a million soldiers, active duty, reservists, and National Guard. They each get five uniforms. That's an awful lot of laundry. But one Army scientist has a big dream. Clothing that just won't get dirty in the first place. I've been working on developing self-cleaning clothing for about five years now. If Tron is successful, Army uniforms of the future will be tough enough to actually fight off dirt. For Yahoo News, I'm Sheila Damarajan, and the future is now. Challenged by a general to invent a uniform that didn't need washing, physical scientist Kwok Tron had to look closely at the problem. How close? Down to the molecular level of fabric. Not something that you can see. You have to kind of zoom into the molecular level. Here at the U.S. Army Soldier System Center in Natick, Massachusetts, they come up with everything a soldier might need in the field, from tents to shoes, food, and of course, uniforms. To make uniforms that actually resist a wide array of water or oil-based substances, Tron and his team have been working on what he calls an omniphobic coating. We really want to make a coating that once you apply it onto a fabric, it will repel anything. Much of the fabric testing is done on machines Tron and his co-workers have had to invent themselves. The equipment that I set up to measure the penetrations of particles through fabrics. So this is the fabric that we design and develop for the Army. Inside here we have a protective layer. So how well does this uniform fabric resist dirt? Testing reveals how everyday substances like ketchup tend to be repelled or slide off the uniform fabric. I mean, it literally just takes everything off. You know, I need this for my one-year-old son. <laughs> the coated uniform fabric can even resist tough substances like motor oil, which beads up on the fabric surface instead of soaking through. It's one thing if the clothes repel water, but it's another thing if they smell. That's the reason why we add antimicrobial uh, additives into the coating. It just doesn't allow bacteria, microbes to grow, and that's the source where it, it caused the smell. It's one thing to test these uniform fabrics in a lab, but for the U.S. Army, it's all about performance in the field. But maybe not in these clothes. That's better. One of the biggest challenges is mud especially when it is ground into the fabric itself. Tron is trying fabrics with tighter and tighter weaves to handle it. See the, the dirt on top? That's because we're pushing the dirt in between the fibers. So eventually the dirt, they just fall off. Right. And it totally stays dry underneath. Not wet yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Soldiers first tested the uniforms in 2011, where they were worn up to 15 hours a day. 73% of those soldiers said the uniform should be adopted for use by the Army. Another field test at Fort Riley, Kansas will soon put the uniforms through even more strenuous testing. Tron and his team are working with Virginia-based Luna Innovations to refine and improve the self-cleaning fabric. Still years away from the battlefield, Tron hopes that someday soldiers won't have to worry about clean uniforms ever again. Thanks for watching and follow us on Twitter at hashtag YahooTFIN. For Yahoo News and the future is now, I'm Sheila Damarajan. Yahoo!